As part of our Child of Our Time series, we looked at the national personality using one of the most well-respected uh, five-point tests. We looked at five areas of personality which have been fairly well um, delineated by psychologists as being uh, relevant and measurable. So we looked at openness, uh, conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion and neuroticism. And it turns out that um, on a scale of 1 to 10, you can be extremely neurotic or not at all anxious at the other end. Um, similarly, you can be very, very extrovert or quite introvert at the other end and so on. Um, what I think is very clear is that from our study on the website and close to a million Britons logged on to do the tests, uh, the national personality varies from area to area. So it's different in Lancashire from, let's say, London. Um, I don't think you can really say there's any clear advantage of being one strong personality trait which encourages learning. So, for example, um, extroversion might help you being interested in things, but it might give you a very short attention span as well. So there are negative and positive things about that. Similarly, with neuroticism, if you are very neurotic, you might probably want to try and do your homework rather more carefully but you might not do it so well because you're, spent, you're spending time trying to make sure the punctuation is right without looking at the detail, looking at the detail without looking at the overall concepts. So I think the concept of personality is very, very complex in terms of learning experience. And it may be that we need to do more research to see um, what kind of personality um, is most likely to be um, capable of learning and continuing education. Um, but I don't think there's really at the moment any evidence that a set personality is better at learning than not. Uh, and we see that very clearly from, for example, Nobel Prize winners, some of whom are almost, almost psychologically dysfunctional um, in some respects, um, but clearly have given massive advances to humanity about certain areas of science and literature.